Okay, so step one, you want an ironclad. Step two, you go to the warehouse and wow, look at that. You have no money. Very nice. And now you have no motivation to make a clad. And that's where I step in and say that I can help you with that. Okay, okay, so going from rags to riches when you've got nothing is difficult. I get that. However, I have found some ways that can help you make decent money without having to spend any Robux. This video will be on my ideal ways of making money. I will exclude piracy for this video since it's pretty much just cargo trading with other people's cargo. Glowies and other premium items are out too since you need to spend Robux in order to introduce them into circulation. So without further ado, let's get on with the show, yes? So first up, we have cargo trading. I know it seems obvious at first, but how do you know the route that you are taking is the most efficient one? Well, at first, you probably don't. Luckily, I have done some experimenting with the trade routes, with the starting points as the main islands and the end points with every other island. These are the maximum values that I have found. These values were found under the condition that there were no pirates in the server and that the commission has been excluded. In my opinion, White Crest to Salem and back is the best route for cargo trading. Please pause the video here if you want to take in all the information. I also recommend you trade in a crew so that you get more money and it benefits everyone in the crew. So next up, we have mining and selling resources. This method is surprisingly efficient. Selling bulk oak and iron can prove to be extremely profitable. If you sell 1,000 oak per week, that's already 50,000 doubloons that you made. Of course, while harvesting both woods and metals, you will also receive other rarer materials that you can sell to make even more money. If you choose to harvest materials, I recommend that you use iron tools as they are cheap to produce, they are fairly durable, and they have a decent chance to drop rare materials. It's best to sell the materials in bulk so that people are more likely to buy them all and you get a lump sum of money at once. So what ships can you get with 50,000 doubloons? All the way up to tier 8 ships and that's almost enough for the tier 9 ships. And next up, we have fishing. Fish can make you a fortune. However, it will take a lot of time as you need to fish for fish before you'll be able to use it. You can use fish to turn it into crates and make big stonks or use them for fish oil. I personally would just turn them into fish crates and sell them for big stonks. However, where you sell fish will affect the yield of doubloons generated. You might not know where to sell the fish crates to make the most doubloons, but don't worry, I got my eye on you. I have done some experimentation and these are the values that I've received based on the exact same criteria from section 1. Please pause the video to take in all the information if you need to. Also, the bonus of fish cargo trading is that you can invite your friends to a crew, have them hold extra crates, and everyone makes a ton of money. I know it will take a while, but once you've accumulated enough fish, ascend to Stong's Bliss that awaits you and your friends. And finally, we have working in a trade lens company. Now, there are many trade lens companies that offer different services, but let's talk about resource companies. These companies pay you based on the materials you contribute. So not only do you have a surefire way of selling your materials, but you will also gain experience points in your mining and timber felling levels, assuming you are not level 10 in those fields already. I also like to think that working in these companies will teach you to work hard and not be lazy, so that you will always be motivated to keep working towards financial success.
Thanks for watching, but do you want to know what you just earned? These leftovers. Alright guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this guide helps you out in shaping a bright career in Tradeland, one with financial success. If you like what you see and want to see more, smash that like button and subscribe so that I'll be motivated to keep making these videos. At the time of publishing this video, we have 90 subscribers. By the way, 100 subscriber special is coming soon, so stay tuned. But spoiler alert, I will be making two videos in celebration of 100 subscribers. One will be the special video and the other will be a Q&A. So with that being said, drop your questions down in the comments below in preparation for the 100 subscriber special. I am Nautical and I hope to see all of you guys back in my next video. Peace.